Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. So today is my last video making these sweet little 3x3 three three Valloween mini cards. And my bases are all cardstock from This Calls for Confetti. I still have a bunch of die cuts and things um, that are just in my bowls ready and waiting to be used up. So I decided I would feature This Calls for Confetti cardstock this time and in the end um, we're going to look at how I embellish them with a bunch of different this calls for confetti embellies. So I actually only show you my process for two of these cards because it's very much the same as the other cards that I've made. They just have a different vibe because the paper's different and because I end up embellishing these as well. Because this calls for confetti is known for their embellishments so I couldn't not use the embellies. So here we are. This particular cardstock is a Christmas cardstock, as is the little plaid there by my right hand. And this one is a Halloween. And um, yeah, everything that I'm using is. Mm, I started to say everything is not Halloween. That's not true, though. This one, and then there's a couple of the black pattern ones um, in the end that you'll see that were also from the Halloween pattern paper pack. However, as Valloween is a mashup of Halloween and Valentine's Day, I just wanted to show how you can use any paper in your stash. It doesn't have to be specific to a holiday. It doesn't even have to be a specific color scheme, right? So both of those holidays are very known for their iconery. Is that a word? For, for their icons, for their images. Yes, the color schemes as well. But mix it up, mash it up. That's what we're doing anyway. So my process is very much the same, just auditioning different die cut pieces and word die cuts and that kind of thing. And then, um, then I was done. Now for these, like I said, I've got em my embellishments out and I pulled out a bunch of them. I will list all of them downstairs in the description box. Every one of them that I pulled out, I will have it listed downstairs. If it's still available in the store. If it's not still available in the store, because I've been buying from this Calls for Confetti since they first opened, so some of them may not be available. But if not, then I will link whatever is whatever I can find that's the closest. Or that it might be a mix that contains a specific element that I use. Because I do that a lot. With mixes, you can pull out what you need. Like I have Christmas mixes up there. I don't know if you see that in the little round bowl. That's a Christmas mix. Yep. And then sometimes if all you need is just one element and you don't have it, like I said, you can pull it from a mix. Or you can take your different elements that you already have and mix them together and create your own mix. Lots of different ways to use these. And these teeny tiny little hearts that I end up putting in the middle of some of them, of some of the sequins, come from that little Christmas mix right there on my right. That one was new this year, the other one was from last year. And this one with the um, with the little letters in it, the letters to Santa, I can't remember the name of it, but these little hearts are absolutely adorable. And I don't think I realized that they were in the mix until I started breaking it down and pulling out specific elements that I wanted to use. Also that Letters to Santa mix. I don't know that that's the name. That's just what I'm calling it. But that one also has um, gray sequins instead of um, silver or iridescent. So I really like those gray and, and I pull them out and I do use them as well. Now with these two guys, I'm putting the teeny tiny little hearts at the bottom, but I use the black... Um, they call them sparkle gems for the eyes. And I did use the sparkle gems, the, the red ones and the black ones on other cards as well, but I just felt like these were really cute. And depending on how you place those those eyeballs, they can be looking in different directions, which is what I tried to, tried to do there, is to have the top one looking down and the bottom one looking up. And I love that little gingham, gingham guy there. Super cute. Love it, love it, love it. And I have these iridescent ones that are going down. 
and I wanted a little bit more contrast than that but I didn't want to use white so I just I was okay with that because the only way to to get contrast and not use white would I guess I could have used gray because that would have given me more contrast probably than the iridescent now that I'm talking it out now on this skull, skull, I've tried different things for the eyes. You can see I'm using the florals from the Halloween mix. I used silver flat confetti. I used gray. I used black. I used red. And none of them looked right. So I ended up just, just leaving it without any embellishments on the eyes. I loved the idea of the flowers. They just were a little bit too big and they matched the color of the cardstock too closely. So that's why I opted not to use them. It would have been a, a fun, fun um, embellishment. I don't know, fun way to embelly. Using again those um, black sequins and the black sparkle gems. And then on the inside, this is where I've got the, the contrast with that pink. Loving that very soft pink. So guys, let me know. Do you like them with, with, with them being stepped up with all the embellishments? And for some of them, I didn't put very many. And some, I probably put too many. <laughs> but let me know what your thoughts are. Because the first several sets that I made, I didn't add any embellishments no inking, nothing like that. So this one, obviously, I didn't add the inking. This set, I didn't add the inking. But I'm loving the embellishments on them. And I've taken them to work, and people are handing them out and stuff. So it's kind of fun to see other people um, getting making use of them as well. People who don't even know what Halloween was, they were very intrigued by them. Now, talking about contrast, I wish that I would have used white or gray or even the iridescent ones there because the black just blended in too much. But it's okay. It is what it is. No regrets here. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts. And I will not be making any more of these for Halloween. Um, I might be making them throughout the year for different things. Um, a friend and I are talking about maybe developing a hashtag using these throughout the year but more more to come on that if it actually happens just the thought that's in the thought process so anyway this has been fun celebrating Halloween has been a good time and I wish you all a happy Valentine's Day a happy Halloween whatever it is that you choose to celebrate and we'll do one last look at all of these and you can see how they all turned out up close and personal I think they're adorable. No matter how you make them, no matter the cardstock, no matter the vibe, no matter the embellishments or not embellishments, they're just little cuties. And again, I have to give credit where credit's due. They have been, these have been inspired by my friend Tracy, who was also inspired by. Jillian Norwood, who was also inspired by Anna White, and I'm sure Anna was inspired elsewhere as well. I just don't know. So it's just fun how inspiration can spread like that. It's contagious. I really like that skull. And I think this might be my favorite pattern paper. I love them all though. Like how can you say one's not your favorite? Because <laughs> each one of them is in its own way. I really like the pink. I love the pink a lot. Love a plaid. I always love a plaid. Mmm. Yeah. Alright guys. Thanks for spending time with me. We're going to do a quick close-up of, of all of them. And yeah, I look forward to talking with you downstairs in the comments section. Again, I will have all of the pattern papers as well as the different um, confetti and confetti mixes that I've used downstairs. So if you want to shop, feel free to use those links that will support my channel with a little bit of a commission and it will support Lisa's store and I would love you for that for sure. I love you anyway, you know that. But anyway, I can support my friend Lisa over at this Calls for Confetti. Man, I'm here for it. Y'all, I appreciate you, and until next time, mwah, this is Nancy, the Handy Scandy, and I'm out.